Handling of reference designation labels inside the graphic area was significantly improved in Creo Parametric 10. Inside the cabling application, there are two commands that are intended to help with arranging a large amount of labels inside the graphics, refit and reorder reference designator labels. The refit and reorder commands are similar in their intent, but unfortunately they were misaligned in their usage and suffered from a number of usability issues that caused the confusion and in some cases an unpredictable behavior. Refit adjusts the labels to fully display on screen, while reorder rearranges the labels to their default location and leader length. For refit, the placement algorithm was overhauled to make the arrangement on screen better and more consistent than before. In reorder, you can now control the leader length with a new configuration, Cable's Reorder Ref Desk Length. In Creo 10, both commands are aligned to behave consistently and predictably with some newly added flexibility. Both commands now accept exactly the same references, either components, labels, or nothing. When nothing is selected, both commands will now affect all the labels in the model. But when either labels or their corresponding components are selected, both commands will now only act on the selection, leaving other labels unaffected. Both commands are affected by a limit ref desk label reorder configuration. This configuration makes sure that manually moved labels are untouched, as to not undo purposefully placed labels. This caused confusion because many people were simply unaware of this config. To make sure this configuration is more visible, it is now exposed inside the options dialog is a checkbox. The description is now more informative and this option is now checked by default. Both commands were also added to the mini toolbar for faster access. These usability enhancements should make it significantly easier to handle a large amount of labels and cabling.